Hey, what's up you two? I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm gonna show you guys how I make money when the stock market is pulling back. I'm gonna show you guys three different strategies that I use to make a profit in a market that is declining. So over the last couple of days, over the last week, the market has been showing a little correction after having a big long run up, it's starting to pull back and people are getting scared. And we're gonna take full advantage of people getting scared in the market and make profits where they lose. So make sure you stick throughout the entire video so you don't miss out on any of the strategies that I'm about to show you guys. Go on ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. And also hit subscribe and that notification bell. By hitting that notification bell, that helps out my channel way more than just hitting the thumbs up button and subscribing, so try to hit that bell. But before we dive into it, this video is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description, deposit just $5 now, and you can receive two free stocks valued up to $1,800. With those two free stocks, you could keep them inside of the platform and decide to use it, or you can sell those two free stocks and redraw all of your money. It's literally free money. And right now, is the deal ends, I think, July 20th, of just depositing five dollars so you might want to take full advantage of this opportunity while you can also i want to tell you about coinbase coinbase is by far the easiest way to buy and sell cryptocurrency both of those links are down in the description but enough talking let's go ahead and dive straight into this video Welcome back, dreamers. Here we are inside of my Robinhood account. Right now, I'm sitting at around $57,000. On the day, I am down almost a full percent, $561. And on the week, I am down 4.4%, down $2,680. So yes, like I said earlier, the market has been pulling back. But I'm going to show you guys how I recuperate some of that money and actually sometimes turn a profit while the market is pulling back. The first two ways I'm show you is probably the safer raise. You can actually make money when the market is pulling back. And then the third way I'm gonna show you, you can actually make an unlimited amount of money while the market is pulling back, but it's a little bit more riskier. And let me go ahead and show you guys one of the ways that I utilize right now to make money while the market is pulling back. And that is me by selling cash secure puts. So here we are on ticker symbol SPY. SPY checks the, uh, the Fortune 500 companies in America. Uh, so over the last week, it's down 1%. Like I said, the market has been pulling back. So to sell cash secure puts, you need 100 shares of a certain company. So let's hit trade and trade options. This is an option strategy. And we wanna go out to next Friday, which is July 23rd. Now to sell cash secure puts, you wanna uh, click on sell and then call. This is us already owning 100 shares of SPY or any company. You have to already own 100 shares of these companies in order to sell cash secure puts. So let's say on July 23rd, which is next Friday, we already own 100 shares of SPY and we know the market has been pulling back and we do not think that SPY is going to be above $432. Right now, the share price is $431.34, as it shows right there. And since we know the market has been pulling back, um, it's been, it could recover by next week, but it's, it's showing signs of pulling back and we don't think the market is gonna go up. We could sell, we could sell this cash secure put at $432 and collect a profit over there of $2.76 per share. And you have to sell 100 shares. So that's $276. So we'll make $276 if we pick this one. So it will make $276 if we pick this one in just a week if the price of SPY is below uh, $432. So let me show you a real life situation. I own 100 shares of AMD. So let me show you guys what I did with AMD. I did it a little bit differently. So let's go over to AMD. Here it goes right here. Let's click on view AMD. So I already own 100 shares of AMD. My average cost is $59.39. So just keep in mind, I own uh, 100 shares at $59.39. So, so what I did, I went out much further than a week when AMD had a really high price of around um, $95. I did it a while ago. I hit trade options and then I went out maybe a couple of months. I went all the way out to August or September and then I did a cash secure put. So if you just wanted to do a week, you'll go out to next Friday. I own 100 shares at $59 and I think AMD is gonna go down. Uh, I'll pick the 87 call 
I'll pick the 87 call and I'll make $115. If it's below $87 by next Friday, I will make $115. But let's just say AMD do go up from $85 all the way up to $88. Just remember, I did pick up 100 shares at $59. So I will make all of that profit from $59 all the way up to $87. And I will be forced to sell um, 100 shares at $87 if it does go above $88. But we're expecting the market to pull back. It's been pulling back for a while. So this will be us um, expecting the market to pull down. If, it, uh, if it's below $87 by next Friday, I will keep my 100 shares. And also the $115 will be credited into my account already. But let me show you my real life situation. Um, I did a very long call out on AMD expiring in October. I said that it wasn't going to be above 100. I said that it wasn't going to be above $95. I had a 95 call strike. And right now I am up 63% on me selling that covered call on AMD. Right now I'm up $501. So while the price has been pulling back, I am in profit of $501. So I could sell it right now and take the $500 profit, but I do think it's going to pull back just a little bit more. And then I could collect an even bigger profit if AMD do pull back just a little bit more by next week. So that is option strategy. Number one is by selling cover calls. The second way, let's just use AMD again. Let's hit trade options and go out a week. The second way is, ca is selling cash secure puts. This is us, we don't have 100 shares of AMD, but we would like to own 100 shares of AMD. So let's say right now, AMD is at $85. We're not comfortable buying AMD at $85, but we do expect the market to pull back. We always want the shares of AMD, and we will be comfortable of buying AMD, let's just say at $84, or let's say $83.50 right here. Uh, we will be comfortable buying 100 shares at $83.50. So if AMD stays, we'll click this one and we'll be credited to our account right immediately, $73. Remember, it's 100 shares, so that's 73 cents times 100 is $73. So we'll be credited immediately, $73, and that will hold $8,350 in collateral just in case AMD pulls all the way back to $83.50. So let's say AMD um do pull back but it only pulls back to 84 dollars by the end of the week uh, we will still they will release our collateral back to us we will hold on to our eight thousand three hundred and fifty dollars and we will still be able to keep our premium of 73 dollars so that is us making profit without even having to buy a stock while the market was pulling back but let's say amd continues to pull back and it does pull all the way back to 83 dollars and 50 cents you will be forced to buy 100 shares of um, AMD at $83.50, which is what we wanted anyway. We wanted 100 shares of AMD, but we got paid $73 to buy 100 shares of AMD. So we still turned the profit. They paid us $73 to buy AMD at $83.50. So that is the second way that we can make money while the market is pulling back. It's less risky because we're either holding on to our stocks, making profits while we're holding on to our stocks, are buying stocks at a cheaper price and, and Robinhood or your brokerage paying us to buy these stocks at a cheaper price. Now, if you're confused on any of this, I'm gonna leave a link right here to, that goes into details about the wheel strategy. That's all that is, is the real strategy. I'm gonna leave that link right here down into this. Uh, I'm gonna leave that link right here. If you clicked up there somewhere, it should be right there. Now, the more risky way to make money with unlimited gains will be to buy puts. Now, buying puts is us betting that a stock is going to go down. Um, the price of the put is right down the right. So let's say we're using AMD. We think AMD is going to go down to um, $84. We'll buy this one right here. It's going to cost us $84. It's going to cost us $84 to pick this put for, for AMD on Friday. If AMD falls down below $84 and continue to fall down to $80, $70, then we're gonna make a ton, a boat ton of money. In fact, it's unlimited. So let's say we're thinking that AMD is gonna be below $85.50 by the end of the week. We click that one for $144. We wanna buy one. Let's look at the charts right here. Um, if AMD stays at $84.06, we'll break even. But if AMD falls, our profit is unlimited our max profit would be around eight thousand four hundred and six dollars that's if amd goes all the way down to zero and our max loss will be um 
$144. That's how much it would cost us. But our max loss is $144. But as long as AMD keep falling, and right now the market has been pulling back, if you think the market is going to continue to pull back, the more it falls, the bigger profit we have. So if it pulls all the way back to $83, we'll make a profit of $106. If it pulls back to $82, We'll make a profit of um, around 170 ish dollars, guys. So we can make a lot of money by doing the buy put way. That is, that is us betting that the stock market or the AMD stock is just going to go down and we can make a max profit from that. This is us buying out of the money is if you go down below the strike price, that means AMD is not currently at this strike price is actually above it. This is us buying out of the money, which is cheaper. That means on expiration date, it better be below the 84.50 price if that is the one you pick, or else you're gonna lose your money. And up here, this is us buying in the money. It's gonna be more expensive. But then again, here goes the break even prices over here. Let's say we pick the 88. Um, AMD is already at 85.80. And now all we need to, to do is go down a couple of cents, not even a full dollar, and we'll make profit, but it's gonna cost $296. The break even is $85. And the higher we go, let's say we wanna be super in the money and buy a 93 put, then to break even, AMD would actually have to go up 0.02% um, for us to uh, lose money. But if we're thinking that the market is gonna pull back, then it could pull back and we can make a ton of money from AMD that way. So there we go, dreamers. That is three different ways. You got your cash secure costs. I mean, you got your cash cover costs, your cash secure puts, and a short in the stock by buying puts on um, stocks, expecting that the prices go down. That is one way that, those are three different ways that you guys can make profits while the market is actually pulling back. The fourth way bonus for you guys that uh, stay to the end of the video is by buying the dip, by us buying more stocks as the price is um, going down, then it will take us less time to make a profit while the price starts to recover. Because if we only bought stocks on when it was at the highest point, performance at its best, then we won't make as much profit if we was buying stocks when the stocks had some bad news or the market was pulling back and we bought those stocks at the low point. So that's another way that we can make profit in the stock market is when the uh, stocks pull back, we actually buy the dip or it's called dollar cost averaging in. Dollar cost averaging in just means that either you're, you're buying the stock on a given day every single week. Let's say every Monday you invest $100, whether the price is real high or the price is real low, you're gonna buy $100 worth of this stock every single Monday. That is called dollar cost averaging in. You're not putting a large lump sum of money in only on green days, and you're not only putting in a large sum of money on red days. You are actually just dollar cost averaging in, which averages out the price of the stock that you're interested in buying. But let me know which strategy down below in the comment section, which one was your favorite down in the comment section. And I'll be sure to check those out. Or uh, if I get a lot of the same comments, I'll actually do a live, um, I'll actually do a live trading session on one of the option strategies uh, for you guys to keep up with and that we could follow and I could walk you guys through one. But other than that, before I end this video, make sure you pick up your two free stocks by just depositing $5 into Webull. Don't miss out on that amazing opportunity to get your two free stocks. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.